the building, I see customers. So, you know, I didn't think much of it, but obviously he had more sinister plans on his, you know, on his mind. So you just got to be careful. Well, new at 10, we are hearing from a local veteran who suffered a broken jaw after he was brutally attacked in Clifton. Chance the wind joins us live from Clifton Heights as police search for the person who did it. Yeah, so we are live here in Clifton at the intersection of Calhoun Street and Ohio Avenue because this is where that veteran tells me he was attacked from behind and knocked unconscious while crossing Calhoun Street from the Shell Station to Buffalo Wild Wings. I just came to and I was bleeding everywhere. Dewan Williamson says he was attacked from behind while crossing Calhoun Street in Clifton. The Army veteran says he was blindsided. He came up behind me, he hit me in the, in the head with something or something, I don't know. And he just knocked me out, and then I guess he hit me a couple more times after I was knocked out. Bruised ribs and a broken jaw is what Williamson tells me he's now dealing with. I got to drink smoothies and stuff like that until the end of November, about six weeks. The attack happened back on September 30th. Williamson says he got a good look at the suspect earlier that night when he came into Buffalo Wild Wings on Calhoun Street, where he works. A customer came in. And I asked to speak to the manager, which was me, of course. So I went up to the front. I couldn't help him with his problem because it was like an old problem. So I told him he'd have to come back or call the next day. About 15 minutes later, Williamson went across the street to the Shell gas station where he spotted that same man. I seen him when I came out of the store. I didn't think nothing of it. I've seen plenty of customers. But this time, Williamson was attacked and knocked unconscious. When he woke up, he ran back to his co-workers. They were shocked. Yeah, people were shocked. Like, what happened to you? The same co-workers who created a GoFundMe to help him. I definitely appreciate it because I didn't even create the GoFundMe. My boss did that, so I, and she didn't have to do it, so I appreciate that. But the help Williamson is asking for from you is identifying the man responsible. It's not about the money. I just, I honestly just want the guy caught. Now, if you have any information regarding the whereabouts of the man police are searching for, contact Cincinnati Police. But for now, reporting live in Clifton with photojournalist Jared Darwish, I'm Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. Tomorrow, it's going to be beautiful like it was today.